previously on Project Library. How are we affording this? I thought you were going bankrupt. I thought if I gave the book back, they'd leave you alone. But why'd you tie it to a brick? So it begins. We go to my uncle's house. He has guns. Uh, no, it's Rachel. We got her. And you're interrogating her. Where's good cop? I presume you're a bad cop. I'm a librarian. <laughs> the evidence suggests... It just walked through. We just walked through the back door, boss. Damn it. Any change, Gaff? Is this your answer to everything? Nice. I just bought you that. Yeah, with my money. Exactly. Something you should be saving right now. Yeah! Shh! Act natural. We need to blend in. Why? You don't know who's working for the library. Could be anyone. You're saying anyone could be a librarian? Mate, for all you know, I could be a librarian. But you're not. Oh, no. Are you? No. You're right. Alright. He looks so sus. What? Suspicious. <laughs> Look at him. He's got a book in his hand. Where'd he get that from? A, a shop. Perhaps. Or maybe he got it from the library. I got it from a shop. He's probably lying. No, I'm not. He's got a goatee. That he has. Let me talk to your boss. You do not want to do that. Rachel, soon you tell me where your boyfriend is. Michael's then. not my boyfriend. What? We broke up. Oh. When did that happen? That's none of your business. We needed space. I don't know where he is. How much does he even owe your boss? <sighs> One million. Dollars? Pounds. Oh. Oh, that's much worse. Give me a phone. You do realise Michael doesn't have one million pounds. You don't know my boss. Rachel, your phone, please. Oh, I've got to get this. Careful, it could be anyone. Hi, Rachel. Oh, boring. Mr. Foster, my name's Will Clark. You're not Rachel. No, sir, my name's Will Clark. I'm calling from Battersham Library. We've kidnapped your girlfriend. Ex. Your ex-girlfriend. What have you done to her? Nothing. Yet. They've handcuffed me. We've handcuffed her. Mike, can I get another drink? Do you want one? Listen, meet us in the library with the money by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Or what? I'm really dehydrated. Listen, I don't have a million pounds, so... 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'm sorry. They've got Rachel. So let me get this straight. The manager of Battersham Library has kidnapped your girlfriend. Ex. Ex. Girlfriend. Right. And this is because... Oh, um, things weren't working out, we needed some space. It... No. Why has this man kidnapped your girlfriend? Oh, um... We see I owe him a million pounds. For, for a book. That I took out. In the 80s. 
Right. Son, we all did some crazy shit in the 80s. Sure. This one time, this one time me and the gang stole a grandfather clock from the lobby of old man Connor's shoe factory and then we sailed it down the weir. As far as Bishop Auckland, I believe. <laughs> Maybe further. Finest clock I ever knew. Boy, those cobblers were pissed. Guys, I'm sure this is all just a misunderstanding. Well, it isn't, okay, so... Maybe if you just go back to the library and talk to this Troy Bennett, it can all be resolved. I'm sure he's a perfectly reasonable man. I am not a reasonable man! Sir, I said unreasonable. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry. Can't we just let her go? Are you crazy? That's crazy talk. You're crazy! Yeah, but sir, she's not even his girlfriend anymore. She's his ex. Then she's of no use to us. She's a liability. Kill her. Sir? She's collateral damage, boy. What's the matter? You don't want to follow my orders, huh? Because if you don't want to do it, I got a hundred men who will! I don't think you do. I'll do it. Will! You know, I like you, Will. I can see you taking over this dump one day. When I'm gone. Thanks, that'll, um... Thanks. Get out of here. And what are you doing? You just standing here? Go join Squad 3 and start up that sniper's nest. I want to set up a kill zone. So what exactly are we preparing for? This Michael Foster is just one guy. Never underestimate your enemy, Steve. Remember that. Sure. We need guns. Loads and loads of guns. We're gonna die. Because of a book. You're gonna die? They don't even know who I am. I'm Mr. Incognito. Police aren't gonna help. Yeah, they never do. In the movies, no one goes to the police. They're doing police movies. True that. My uncle has guns! Okay with this. I was not really my uncle. He's just some guy who moved in next door when I was seven. If I called him uncle, he let me play with his guns. Did he touch you? No! Did you touch him? Piss off! I want to see the manager. No knock. Troy? This is not the wrong number! If you're calling for Troy Bennett. Troy can't come to the phone right now because he's busy running his goddamn library. So, hello, I'm Troy Bennett and you're not Troy Bennett. So don't even think about it. There's only one Troy Bennett and that is me. Please leave a message for Troy Bennett after the beat. <coughs> Troy! What's up, dude? My butt! Troyster! Troy Minator! Troy Story 2, man, right? Leonard Neem. Troy, your bank account, buddy. The Swiss one, not the legal one. Ready for the next deposit. This is the big one, man. Said the lawyer to the hooker. <laughs> no, fuck. I uh, said the hooker to the priest. Listen, they're gonna be expecting that million pounds, I mean, minus my 5% lawyer's privileges, by noon tomorrow. It's kind of a dick move to keep all the money for yourself and give nothing back to the library, but hey, 5%, not complaining. I'm just your lawyer. <clears throat> that was, um, that was a high five. I high five the phone. So you should, if you would like to, you could high five it back, Troy. Really hope no one's listening to this message. That'd be, 
That'd be really awkward. I mean, because they don't know who I am, but if they were to listen, they know who you are. <laughs> they know you. Hey, look, I'm going to see you on Thursday on the golf course there, buddy. Drinks are on you, you brilliant asshole. Peace. So it's come to this, huh? My own grandson betrays me. What the hell? <laughs> I will deal with you later. Troy! Troy, get back here, you bastard! Okay, people, look alive! Give me status report. Send in squads one through five. And six. Fire! I don't know what it does. Do you know what? Yo, I really hope I'm the one that catches this guy. Yeah. Hey, do you know what Troy said to me last week? What did he say? <laughs> he said that he could see me running this place one day. You run in the library? Oh, yes. Why not? What do you know about books? Absolutely nothing. But maybe I'm getting sick of this wee mercenary malarkey. Yeah, yeah. I've never even fired this thing. Do you know what I don't get? I don't get why they've gone to so much effort just to catch some loser. Must have their reasons. Yeah, like what? I don't know. Reasons. Oh, come on! It's hardly likely that some random civilian's gonna charge into this place holding a grenade now, is it? You had to say it. If I'm 